This week on The Cone, we're talking about one of the most beautiful dog breeds there is, the Vizsla. Listen, I love these guys, but they're not for everybody. Let's get into it. And now, the vet who is also a champion hunter for snacks, Dr. Andy Rourke. The Vizsla is one of my all-time favorite breeds, and it's one that I have a lot of experience with. These dogs are growing in popularity because of their stunning looks and their rugged yet lovable personas. But they aren't the best dogs for everyone. Here's what you need to know. The Vizsla tends to be about 40 to 55 pounds for females and up to 65 pounds for males. They are very similar to the German short-haired pointers and Weimaraners, but they're a lighter model with a slightly different personality. These dogs are more compact, but don't think that that makes them perfect for living in an apartment. The Vieslas are balls of energy, and not just in body, they are balls of energy in their minds. Listen, these dogs do not stop. If you are looking at the breed, know that you are gonna spend 30 to 60 minutes exercising them vigorously every single day. If you do not give them this exercise, they will drive you nuts. They can't help it. They are bred to go and go and go and not stop, and they're good at it. The mind of the Vizsla also never stops working. They need mental stimulation as well as physical stimulation. They tend to really enjoy and be good at puzzle games. They also pick up training really well from an early age. However, if you do not mentally engage them, they will find mental stimulation elsewhere. That's when we start to see bad habits. They tend to bark tear things up, they can dig, they will not leave their owners alone even for a moment, no matter how much you beg. Again, I love these dogs, but hear my words when I tell you that these dogs are not at all low key. I had a Vizsla back before I had kids and I exercised them every day and I love it. I don't know if my current schedule would make a Vizsla a good dog for me right now. I say this because I don't want people to feel like they aren't good dog owners if this isn't the right breed for them. I'm saying it because of how I've seen the need for exercise in Vizslas make really good people miserable. One of the saddest cases I ever saw was a woman who had three kids under the age of five and her husband decided that they needed a Vizsla puppy and she struggled so much. She worked so hard with the kids and the puppy and trying to keep everything together. And it was just more than she could handle. And ultimately that dog, who was a very good dog, he ended up going to another home, which was a great home and it all worked out for the best. But I feel so awful for her just being overwhelmed. And I just don't want anyone to be surprised if they end up in this position. So I know that I'm hammering this really hard, but exercise for the Vizsla, both physical and mental, is no joke. Vizslas are absolutely not yard dogs. They are Velcro dogs who are attached to their owners. They want to be with you all the time, and there is no bigger fear for them than being separated from their family. Expect a constant companion who does not take isolation well at all. It's wonderful if you're in a position to give a Vizsla that type of attention. It can be problematic if you plan on boarding him frequently or think that he can just hang out in the yard. That tends to lead to problems. These are wash and wear dogs. They shed a bit, but other than that, you just brush them out once a week, clean their ears and bathe them when you need to, and brush their teeth. Other than that, you're good to go. Vizslas are generally really darn healthy dogs. There are a few things to look out for. Number one on my list is anxiety. These dogs tend to be anxious, not when they're at home with their owners, but they don't handle being separated from the family all that well, and they are very smart. So they figure things out, and I don't know, maybe they worry a bit more than other breeds. They also have some problems that come up with weird stuff like epilepsy, blood clotting problems, hip dysplasia, eye problems, hypothyroidism, which is low thyroid levels, and some types of cancer. The things I want you to remember about these problems, they're not common, but they're also generally hard to spot in puppies. That means if you're thinking of getting a Vizsla from a breeder, you wanna do your homework and make sure you're working with a reputable breeder that is looking out for these problems and who is going to remove any dog showing those signs from the breeding program. 
And that is our show. Again, I love this breed so much and I want people to get them and love them, but only if you're going to be happy and the dog is going to be happy. Most people can't make the Vizsla commitment and that's not a bad thing at all, as long as you figure out before you're in over your head. Thanks so much for watching the show. If you have a Vizsla or you have something to add, drop it in the comments if you've got questions for me or if there's something you'd like to see us cover on the Kona Shame in the future, please just let me know. Until we meet again, let's be the people that our pets deserve.